I didn't sleep well last night. My suitcase is just not very comfortable at all. We're going to check out how to take any subject in an image and make them pop 3D style. It is so cool. You are going to absolutely love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. So Photoshop Elements 11 is open up, and this will work fine in PE10, PE12, PE9, PE8, PE7, PE6. It'll work good in any version. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the uh, layer here and right click and select Duplicate Layer. And then I'm going to select OK. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the toolbar and select the Quick Selection Tool. Okay, now what I'm going to do is left click, hold, and drag and I'm just going to get a rough selection going around the girl. Keep the little feet. Now I'm going to change the magnification from 100% to 300%. Okay, I'm going to change the brush size to about 15 pixels for my quick selection tool. Now you see this plus sign in the center of the circle? If I hold down the Alt or the Option key on my keyboard, it changes to a minus sign. When it's a minus sign, you can subtract from the selection like I'm doing here. If you release the Option or Alt key, and come on the other side, you can add again to the selection. So this is how you can fine tune your selections. Okay, that looks pretty good. Photoshop Elements also helps guide you while you're doing this. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, you see the uh, in between her arm and her head, that water there? We have to get that also selected. So we have to find a tool that will let us add to the selection, and it's the magnetic lasso tool. The magnetic lasso tool will allow you to add to a selection. So I'm going to left click and release, and um, that'll let me start drawing. Now understand that I am not left clicking, holding, and dragging. I am just left clicking and releasing and then moving my mouse. Left click, release, and move my mouse. You're drawing anchors as a guide. Now if you mess up like I just did, you can hit the delete button on a Mac keyboard or the back button on a PC keyboard if you draw or create an anchor that's not in a good place. Now this is really important. When you get to your starting point, this little circle, see that little circle? When you see that, you can left click and release and your selection will be complete. Looks good. Okay. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go to select and inverse. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna hide the, the first layer so we can see what goes on. Now I'm gonna hit delete on the keyboard and boom. So this is the first step in this 3D effect is to isolate the subject off of the background. There's many ways to do it. This is one of the ways. I just clicked on the eyeball so you can see the background again. And I just clicked on the select the new layer button twice. So now I have two new layers. Now we're going to come over here. If you don't have black and white showing, click on this button here. And then if you don't have black on the bottom, which is what we need, click on those arrows there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on control and click at the same time or command and click at the same time and the layers will be filled with black. Now I just left click, hold and drag the image of the girl isolated to the top so we can see what's going on. Now we're selecting the rectangular marquee tool and make sure you're on the first black layer and I'm just going to left click and hold and draw my rectangular marquee. All right, now we're gonna come up here to Image, Transform, and Perspective. Now I'm just gonna grab a corner and I'm left clicking, holding, and dragging to make this smaller on the top. And I'm gonna come down here and left click, hold, and drag to make the bottom wider. 
Now I'm just going to click on the green check mark. It's going to get better. Hang in there, guys. Now what we're going to do is right click so we can select both layers at the same time and select merge layers. Okay. Now I just hit delete on the keyboard. And now we're going to go to edit and stroke. And we want it to be at about 10 pixels and we want the color to be white. And the location, we're going to select outside for this effect. That means it's going to draw a line outside my selection. And there it is. Okay. Now, we're going to... So I selected the gradient tool and edit the gradient and edit gradient. And now I, I just selected the swatch there and I want one of the colors in the water. And I click OK. But I'm going to give you a tutorial you can click on if you need some help on how to do custom gradients. Look right there on the right. Layer 2. Okay, make sure that that is selected. We're talking about the layer with the uh, punch out in the center. You want that selected. And I just turned off the other layer. And now I'm just using my quick selection tool and you can see it's already drawn an outline on the outside of my white border. Now I'm going to select my gradient tool again and left click hold and drag and bah! No, I don't want that. Why do I lose no info puppet? Well, I just hit undo. The reason why is you have to select select and then inverse. Okay? Now you can left click, hold, and drag, and boom! You've got your gradient outside your image. Now I'm going ahead and uh, click on the eyeball so we can see the girl. Look at that! Looks so awesome! Okay. I actually just selected another gradient because I like this better uh, with the lighter on top. Now I'm selecting my layer. Now you got to see this. You go to image transform and free transform. You can resize this layer with the gradient and move it around to your likings so you just love what you got. I think that looks pretty good. So that's it. I just wanted you guys to see. Look at that. That is so awesome. It is an awesome way to customize and make any image 3D. The key is, is to remove your subject and isolate her from the background. Thank you so much for watching from Info Puppet.